you're on a push to have the governor remove this case from the Boulder PD and let these sophisticated DNA labs have access to this as opposed to relying on the same cops and detectives that have blown it thus far. There are really sophisticated DNA labs. That, do you have confidence that if they had access to this box, for lack of a better mm-hmm. descriptor, they could they could make whatever progress is possible, they could right. make it. And that's really all we're asking the governor to do is push the case either out of the Boulder hands uh, or in uh, require them to take this evidence to be tested by one of the one or two really cutting edge labs in this country uh, and see what we get. If we can get a, some more good DNA evidence, then you take that evidence and put it in the public database and see what you come up with. Uh, yes. This has been d- done in the last few years with remarkable success. And really what got me, uh, took had me in my mind take the gloves off with the police is, we had spent some time with the uh, regional FBI folks there in Denver and uh, got a, a relationship where we said, look, this is what needs to happen. And in fact, they're the ones that said, look, the government does not have the latest DNA technology. Uh, we'll get it eventually, but we don't have it. We don't have it at the FBI. They certainly don't have it at the state level. And of course, not even ridiculous to think they had it at the, at the police level. It's, they've told They told us that we've got to get this DNA a testing done by one of these one or two very cutting edge labs outside and then use this new approach of uh, genealogy tracing. And there's a hope that would move this case along to conclusion. They went to the Boulder police and we're here to help. We'd like to make this happen. We'd help you. You can take all the credit. And the Boulder police blew them off, said, no, we, we don't need your help. And that mm. was when that was the game's over, as far as I'm concerned. We got to start. When was that? How long ago? Oh, it's probably six months ago. Mm. They're just so people know. I had this woman on my show at NBC. CC Moore is her name, and I know yeah. you, you. You've you must have talked to her. She's the one who was really at the center of this genealogy research. And what yeah. they do is they take a piece of DNA, and we already know that the DNA that they found on John Bonet. Uh, does, has not it did not produce a hit in the databases that are available at least as of the last time they told us. Yep. So the perpetrator had not gone into the system yet. But they don't need that. Mm-hmm. All they need is for somebody related to the perpetrator to be in the DNA system. So if I were in the DNA system, let's say I wanted to do 23 and me, let's see what my ancestry is about ever. Um, then if my results got uploaded on this other website that CC Moore uses that, that a lot of people who upload the DNA results use, cause you get more information from it. It's not 23 me, it's something related. Mm-hmm. Um, so let's say they're sitting there. She can access them. She may not, you know, she, she can see a lot of things on there. And let's say I have a relative who commits a crime. That relative's DNA was not going to pop up. Like the, 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 mm-hmm. maybe they committed a crime, but the crime scene, they didn't see him because he didn't, they, he hadn't been arrested yet, but yep. mine will. And yes. this is what CC Moore, she's like, all I can tell you is that Megan Kelly is related to this killer. And so right. I'm going to build this big family tree around Megan Kelly. I'm going to figure out who her grandfather, what great grandfather, look at her husband's side. I'm going to look at, because all this stuff is publicly available. She looks through wedding announcements and birth announcements. It's it's crazy great detective work. Yes, and she is. gets she gets her man. I mean, CeCe Moore is like, they, they solve a case a week doing this. And mm. so if we could take a fresh look at the John Bonet DNA, from that perspective, right. even if the guy's never gotten into the system from the last time they tested it, somebody might be in the system that could lead us to him. That's right. The COVID system that the FBI uses, the, the federal database of criminals or, or arrested felons, is fairly small. And it, the states can contribute or not to that database. Uh, it takes uh, nine markers out of 15 to be accepted in the database, but it's it's of people that are have already been uh, found criminal um, or at least arrested for felonies. And it depends on the state what that rule is, but it's not a very big database. And what the, the, the um, public database of the, like the 23andMe, and way both Jan and I submitted our $35, get our ancestry to that database. They find a, a reasonably, you know, close match uh, or something at least is interest, uh, 
of interest, and they do a, almost a backwards uh, uh, family tree. And then they find, uh, hey, here's a relative that lived in Boulder in December uh, 2020, uh, 1996. And uh, then they start looking at that guy or that person and get his DNA and, and these remarkable success stories. Uh, solutions to these old, old cases have been using that technique. And most of these people were not on anybody's radar. They weren't in the the uh, COVID uh, or the uh, uh, federal database. And um, in fact, the, the Golden State Killer, which was, I think, the first one found this way, was a yes. 40-year-old case, yep. and he was a retired cop. So he wasn't in, in the criminal database. Exactly, but, it's a but our relative technique. was. And, and we're, that's what we're asking the governor to make happen. I don't care how it happens. But that's what has to happen. And, and now uh, now what he's saying, John, is, well, he doesn't say anything as I understand it. But the no. Boulder PD, they're, they're like, hey, we have great news. We're now going to refer this case to the cold case unit. And the cold case unit, we believe, is going to do better than the other case unit. Why? Don't know. I don't know. I've never heard of this cold case unit. Why? And they said, we're going to refer to them next year. Well, that could be 12 months from now. But I guess you say, well, it's no big rush. It's been 26 years. What's the hurry? And it's a huge frustration for us. Uh, and Do you believe that's just a, is that just cover? Is that a CYA? Yeah, it is, absolutely. That was put out before I even released the governor's letter, which I only released because he never responded. I thought that was, I would have at least expected to say, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at it. Or I received your still? letter. Yeah, nothing. Still hasn't responded. No, no. Nope. Oh. And we're gonna uh, follow up with him. Yeah, you know, I'm not asking him to, you know, apologize to us uh, for the faulty performance of the Colorado justice system. I don't. I don't want that. I just want to do the right thing. This is what can be done. You need to do it. Yeah. Person. Well, we're definitely gonna follow up with his office and find out what what is his response. Uh, and we'll yeah. stay on it and we'll annoy him to the point where he's going to have to respond uh, because I know a lot of people in media who would be very happy to help me annoy him. I would um, love John, that. It's the Christmas and holiday season and it is time for gift giving, parties with friends and family and for getting compliments everywhere you go because you look years younger thanks to Genucel. Not happening yet? Time to order right now. <laughs> Millions love their products. I'm one of them. From now through Christmas, Jenny sells most popular package. It's all their best stuff. They have idiot proofed it for you. You know how you go on, you're like, I don't know, do I need, just get the most popular package. One of them, there's a couple you can choose from. They're all great. 70% off right now at JennySell.com. Treat yourself and treat a loved one too to the absolute best skincare in the world. See those forehead wrinkles, fine lines, skin redness, pesky bags and puffiness. And yes, even a sagging jawline disappear right before your eyes with Jenny Cell's most popular popular collection. With its immediate effects product, you're going to see results in less than 12 hours, guaranteed, or your money back. And included in every one of their most popular packages is your free hyaluronic acid serum for skin hydration. I think it's resurfacing. It's very resurfacing in my experience. That's going to restore your youthful appearance. Visit jennycell.com slash MK now. Enter my special promo, MK, for an additional 10%, additional 10% off your entire order. You get 70% off. You get an additional 10% if you use the code MK. You're barely paying for anything. And every order today is instantly upgrading to free express shipping. G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash MK60. Genucel dot com slash MK60. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.